So a woman is probably the biggest blessing that you can have in your life. But most men will walk around the earth in such desperation. And what they'll end up doing is getting the woman that was right before the woman that God had for you. One of the things that a lot of men have to really take accountability for is we end up choosing the wrong woman based upon desperation. And the reason behind that is because the whole way the world is, they are preaching to you that being single is just not okay. It's just something that you shouldn't do. Like single is such a, a crazy, like being single for a an amount of time so astronomically out of this world that it's just hard to believe that anybody would do it anymore. And I was falling into this cycle most of my life where I just ended up always needing a woman in my life. I always needed one and if I didn't have one, I was like super depressed and I was anxious and like I would just have to, like the, the whole thing was I had to have phone numbers in my phone. I had to constantly go out and get women's numbers and go out with women and all that. What a lot of us end up doing, even when we're a Christian and we're, we're waiting for marriage is we end up choosing the wrong woman based upon desperation. And there's key signs that you should understand when you're, you're trying to choose a woman and some of them are what we would consider superficial, but they're very important. And it's attractiveness, personality, and commitment to the actual marriage of two people. And number one of the attractiveness is you're choosing the person that you want to be with the rest of your life. And many of us go upon desperation to have sex and we end up getting like a person that's a five when we should have went for something way more and i truly believe that this might be some of the reason why a lot of us end up wanting to seek other relationships or we end up choosing a person that we can't see being with the rest of our life 69 percent of you are not subscribed to the channel that watch these videos and i, I want to say honestly it's a free way to help support the channel if you just hit that subscribe button it helps me make better content so please do me that favor if you want to support the channel just hit that subscribe button hit that like button and I appreciate every bit and trying to find the best spouse. Well, you need to take a look at your life. You need to take a look at your life and, and what you're doing in your life. How is your life going? Because a lot of the time what we end up getting a woman for is because our life is not what we want it to be. So we want that woman to fill the holes of our own life, of our own misfailings. And this is such a wrong way to approach it. And many men, especially in this age, it's you have all these insecurity holes that you want a woman to fix and they don't because they're not supposed to because you're supposed to be the leader in this group, this grouping, this marriage. You're supposed to be the leader. You're supposed to be showing the way how to go. And if you have insecurities, you can't show her and she can't show you. And then you guys are going in the wrong direction. So one of the biggest things that you need to understand, look at your life, look at what you're doing. Are you happy with what you're doing? Are you happy waking up every single morning? And if you're not, don't go for a woman because you are not happy with you first. Second Samuel chapter 11. And this is where David finds about Bathsheba and does one of the most unexplicable things where he ends up sleeping with one of his friend's wives and sending his friend to die in battle. And I'll pop it up right here so you can see it on the video. But what we end up doing is we see red when it comes to lust. And when we see red, we can't think of anything else. And this is the point of not putting yourself in that position because if you are not happy with your life, then you shouldn't be going for a woman. And this is a big point here. And it's something that I have to constantly tell myself because that, that red, that lust red, you, you know, I'll see it with some beautiful girl out there. And then once I'm away from her, then I'll be like, look at this, this and that. That would never work, that would be so bad. But when you see red, when you have that lust red, you're not thinking right. And this is the point here is if you in your life having gotten to where you need to go or where you envision yourself being, not time yet. And you have to constantly tell yourself this and it's a very tough thing, but this is the point of where you will probably marry the wrong woman is you end up seeing red, you're not ready for it, but you end up going all in because you need that. You need someone to fill your holes for you. And this is where you end up marrying the wrong person because there was plenty of holes in them that you saw that you decided to ignore. You know, with David and Bathsheba, a lot of the time people will speculate that it's not like David uh, like forced her. What it looks like in the story, because the Bible is very specific, 
is that she also wanted to do this too. And when two people see red, they're not thinking of anything else. But after you do what you do, that's when you start thinking. And what ends up happening is when you start thinking after every single time, well, eventually that fresh fire gets old and then you see all these holes and you realize that this was not the person that you were supposed to be with. And this is what ends up happening with a lot of men is that you see red and you end up choosing the wrong woman and you end up having to stick with that woman and you start seeing all the holes in yourself and in her that it would never, or it's very hard to make the things work. I'm not saying there's not gonna be hardships you know, in a marriage. Just not, I'm not saying that you're not gonna have arguments or anything like that. But what I'm saying is, is that there's a lot of stuff that you have to fix in yourself first before you think of having another person and then growing a family with that person. And this is what ends up happening with most parents and children as they end up putting their insecurities on their kids because they never filled it out. The whole point that I'm trying to make here is that a lot of us don't use our younger years to build the person that we want to be. And this is so important, especially in this day and age, because there's so many outlets that you can do that. There's so many ways that you can successfully build yourself into what you want to do. But most of us just stay end up scrolling. You know, most of us end up just watching television all day. And there's a lot of holes that you'll see every single time you walk into that mirror. And what we end up doing, man and woman, is we end up finding a partner to cover these holes that we have in ourselves. Instead of trying to figure out what fixes them, and instead of trying to seek God to fix them, you know, this is the whole point of where God will guide you, is when you have these holes, God knows. If you pray upon it, he will show you the actual path that you need to take, but you need to take these paths. And there's plenty of ideas that we'll have in our head to what we wanna start, what we wanna do, what we wanna be. But it's time to take those roads and take a, sec a second off of trying to find a partner. We all have to think of time. We always think of right now. That's what most people do. They think of right now and what is, is going to be good for me right now. But we don't think 10 years down the road, what is going to be good for me? You know, we don't think, does that woman 10 years down the road, is this something that I would want to be with 10 years down the road? No, right now, yeah, it's great. You're fun, having fun, chemistry, laughing, but all these holes are gonna show up 10 years from now. And is that gonna be a huge problem when we get to that point? A lot of us don't think of that. And this is why it becomes a problem when it comes to finding a partner, especially in this day and age. Because most people this day and age, they are very ungodly. And they don't follow what Jesus said to be as a person. So what that means is that it's much harder to find a good partner in this society now, men and women. It's much harder to find that good partner because society has conformed people to doing all the things that you probably shouldn't be doing. Drinking all the time, you know, <laughs> smoking away all your sorrows, doing all these things that don't mean anything and don't fix anything. The only thing that fixes things is God. It's going to be much harder. It's going to be much harder to find a partner, but it will then get easier if you make yourself something that is sought after. That's such an important thing. You know, it's, it's in business and in relationships and everything. If you just make yourself the person that is sought after, then you have more choices. You, you don't get a lot of choices because you don't become the person that you want to be. Yes, you might have to wait a little longer. You know, one of the things, the key things here is that you might have to wait 10 years to get to that point. When you wait that amount of time, you then have many more choices to pick from. And then you can choose the God ordained wife that God always wanted you to be with. So if you want to be that dude who wants to sit there choosing the wrong person, just based out of desperation and doesn't want to follow God's guidance, we'll turn this video off. But if you want to be that dude that understands that he needs to wait a second, build himself up as a man, and do the necessary things so that he can strive to find that right person and be the right person for that right person, we'll keep watching. Smells like hard work and determination, boys. Hit that like and subscribe if you like this video. I appreciate it very, very, very much. If you want some biblical motivation for finding your purpose, watch this video right here. As always, guys, praise God, love God. He's great all the time. Love you all. Peace.